This is the Indian version of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. And let's face it, we all know that this has a brand new hinge, the latest Snapdragon flagship processor. But the big, big highlight of this phone has to be this big cover screen, which you know what, has some hidden features that even Samsung did not talk about. So you already know the specs of the screen and I like what you can do with it. You can access quick settings, you can access notifications, you can even reply to messages from right here and typing on it is not a problem because the full size QWERTY keyboard fits in perfectly here. The new widgets also make good use of this bigger screen. For example, you can change the view in the calendar, you can scroll in the weather widget to see more details. I also like how this recent calls widget lets you dial a number from right here so you don't have to open up the flip. There's also Samsung wallet here so I can access things like my boarding pass right here, my IDs and even make payments from my card or UPI using Samsung Pay and NFC. Not just the widgets, I like the fact that when you're playing music or when you're on a call, you see this bubble on the home screen, on the cover screen so you can access it quickly. This multitasking gesture is also very useful especially for someone like me who has a ton of widgets here. This screen also has a ton of cool wallpapers to choose from and these are all customizable but what's cool is that all the wallpapers have this quick camera button which, which you can by the way set to anything. You can set it to turn on the torch, timer, directly call someone. This bigger screen also means that taking photos or videos hands-free is just way easier. So you get a lot of controls and you can choose between color tones. You can also set the phone to flex mode and shoot a video or take a photo from the main camera or the ultra wide angle camera. Yeah, this is useful. Look, all these features are cool but like I said, I unlocked a couple of hidden features in this screen. See, the Z Flip 5 has a labs page in advanced features that has some of the experimental features that you can try and down here is an option that's very useful. I'm talking about apps allowed on cover screen. I can just turn this on and now I can select the apps I want on the cover screen. Now, right now, there's only these apps supported, but this is good. For example, Google Maps works well and it's handy to quickly check the time to go home and even navigation works without any problems on the screen. WhatsApp also works perfectly fine on the screen so I can check out new messages, see any photos or videos, reply to messages and and you can even make WhatsApp calls like this. Even apps like YouTube or Netflix work absolutely fine on the screen. I can even zoom in on these videos. Now this labs feature is limited to a few apps, but there is a way to run every single app on this cover screen. I think you guys know about GoodLog and its modules on Samsung phones and using the multi-star module, you can add a launcher widget to this cover screen, which lets you run any app. So I can watch reels on Instagram from the cover screen. I can play some asphalt on the cover screen. Heck, I can even play BGMI on the cover screen. It's crazy. The GoodLog module even has a games widget with lighter games from games snack that actually work perfectly for the screen. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Look, these hidden features on the Z Flip 5's cover screen take it to the next level. But the cover screen apart, the Z Flip 5 has all the flip features. You can accept a call by flipping it open. You can hang up a call by just folding the phone close. The whole flip design is also more compact now. The new hinge here means there's no gap when it's closed. So this is the most compact Z Flip ever while bringing in more durability. The main foldable screen is set to be stronger with a new shock dispersion layer inside. There's Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the back, including the cover screen. There's armored aluminum on the sides and this whole design is IPX8 rated so you can take it for a swim. Samsung also used a wider variety of recycled materials in the new Flip 5 and this is made in India. Anyway, the rest of the design features remain the same. There's the fingerprint scanner here in the power button. The stereo speakers remain the same, nice and loud. The performance has been upgraded. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with LPDDR5X RAM and UFS 4.0 storage. And I liked the base where it now has 256 gigs of storage. Now benchmarks from the phone are obviously very good. The phone hits over 1 million in Android 2. And the phone has been snappy for me, be it in day-to-day -day usage and even while gaming. But yeah, I'm still kind of testing things out. The cameras remain the same as the Z Flip 4 in terms of specs, be it the rear cameras or the front cameras, but Samsung has optimized things better. I mean, photos on the Z Flip 5 look good. They have rich colors and good details. And there's a new AI powered algorithm that makes sure low light shots have reduced noise while featuring better details and colors. And not just photos, even the 4K videos look good, sharp, detailed, and stable. The 3700 mAh battery is something that has some people concerned, but in my brief usage, the battery life seems to be a tad bit better. Maybe it's the optimization or maybe it's 8 Gen 2, but either way, it's good so far. The software here is One UI 5.1.1 based on Android 13, and this phone will get four OS updates and five years of security patches in typical Samsung style. But one strange thing is, it's still missing the Samsung Dex feature everyone has been wanting on the flip. Look, to conclude things, it's clear that the new bigger cover screen on the Z Flip 5 is the big game changer here. I mean, the Z Flip 4's outer screen looks like a joke compared to this bigger screen and all the functionality it brings. Plus, this is more durable, it's compact, and there's obviously the performance upgrade. So yeah, this is overall a good upgrade to the Z Flip 4. Now, 
as for the price, this has launched in India rupees 9999, and there are bank discounts, exchange bonuses to get the price effectively to around 7999, and there are also no cost EMI offers. So I want to know from you what do you guys think of the new Z Flip 5 and all of its upgrades, this bigger screen. Comment down below, and thanks for watching.